Hey everybody, I'm out today. It's late January. Uh, it's like 60 some degrees out, sun shining, and it's a Saturday. So, given all that added together, I'm not at home today. I'm out in the woods. So, I'm just out looking, looking for deer sign after the hunting season. Uh, just see what's going on out here in the woods. And I came across this one little spot that had three different oak species on it, and just a little, one little spot here that I thought, well, I'll show you kind of. Uh, maybe I didn't wait to identify the three different oak species I've got here just by their bark. So this three species I have is I have white oak, northern red oak, and black oak. This tree right here with behind me, this is white oak. Now white oak has a, a lighter gray bark, uh, almost a white color, and it flakes off. Um, it'll kind of have pieces on it that'll flake off. Um, and um, the flakes themselves can be, you know, various sizes, but um, they will kind of flake off with this kind of a light gray color. And, uh, you know, those will flake off kind of all the way up the tree. Sometimes if you get an older tree, there may be, the bark will be a lot tighter. It'll be more just like, um, just grooves through the bark and it doesn't really flake away. So it just kind of depends on the, the trees, the growth rate of the trees and, and, and maybe the size of it as well. So. So that's one way, the, probably the best way to identify white oak. Light colored bark, it's kind of flaking off in spots and um, usually is a lot lighter color than a lot of your other oak species. So that's, that's one way to identify white oak. And then back behind me over here, I have northern red oak. This tree here is red oak, northern red oak, because um, we're in the Midwest here. If you get in the southern states, you'll have southern red oak, kind of from Indiana south, there is some southern red oak. But this here is northern red oak. It's typical, it has a dark colored bark, but it also has these white uh, streaks in it. And you kind of notice if you look up the tree, you'll see white streaks kind of going up and down, just kind of on the, on the flat parts of the bark. The bark's a lot tighter than uh, say white oak is where white oak will flake off. Usually red oak does very little flaking of the bark. You'll have a contrast in between the darker gray and then the lighter gray and almost the white colored streaks that come down. Uh, we call those ski tracks. If, uh, if you're in dendrology class, that's what you would call those, those lines that come down. And usually red oak will have those all the way to you know the ground level, down, all the way to the trunk of the tree. So that's probably the best way to identify red oak is having those white streaks down through there uh, that go up and down the bark. The third tree we had right in this little spot was black oak. Now it has a bark that's a little bit similar to red oak. It's kind of uh, different from white oak in the perspective. It's a darker gray bark uh, like the red oak does. But the black oak is going to be more solid dark gray throughout the surface. So you won't have the white streaks on a black oak, especially on the trunk of the tree. Now if you get higher up in the tree, you will see some uh, white streaks in a black oak, but they usually stop higher up and then the bottom part of the tree is just kind of like a solid dark gray. So that's one way to distinguish red, uh, black oak from the northern red oak. The northern red oak will have the white streaks that go up and down it. Black oak will be kind of more of a solid dark gray.